Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. So today we're going to be going over one of the most iconic haircuts in films. This is River Phoenix, rest his soul. Uh, and this is from the Indiana Jones movie and the Last Crusade. So this is a classic movie. If you haven't seen any of the Indiana Jones films, I highly suggest it. But this was such an iconic haircut. And I want you all to take note of the length in the front of his hair. And back then in the 80s, I believe this was like 89 or so, you know, one of the biggest things was kind of the mushroom haircut, but he took it to a whole new level. We're having that cut, but it angled so much going down towards the front that it was so unique and so cool that it became an amazing trend. Now, the key to this haircut is that, you know, is it an undercut? Well, kind of slightly uh, underneath all of this hair. As you can see in through here, like the underneath of it is actually almost around the ears to some part. But what happens is the very, very top is left so much longer and just kind of works its way into the front, creating more of a triangular shape. Uh, and, and the back has somewhat of a slight weight line. But the key is to really, I would say, if you're getting this haircut or looking to do it, is you have to have the whole top sectioned off, create that perimeter throughout the bottom establish that length and start to build in the angle because the hair on top has to somewhat lay over the rest of the hair uh, on, on on the sides and especially throughout the top so if you were to take his hair and just put it in a ponytail on top you'll see that the the sides are relatively shorter and here's a prime example look at his sides where it's actually cut around the ear. And you're probably saying, wait, how's that even possible? Well, because there's this thing called disconnection where if you leave the top a lot longer, but you trim down the sides, it actually is great for somebody who has a lot of hair, you know, on the sides of their head gets really, really thick and even throughout the back. But if you're trying to remove some weight and some bulk throughout the sides and then this is a great option. But keep in mind, again, this is not like a skin fade, anything crazy like that. It's really just creating two different shapes, you know, on one single head. Here's another example. As you can see, the sideburns. It's literally around his ear, but the entire top of his hair, working from kind of the, the sideburn forwards, is so much longer. So you really... You know, ideally, what type of hair type would you need for this? Well, straight hair works best, wavy hair. But, you know, if you want to have that kind of flow, like his hair, I mean, he had blonde hair, silky smooth, perfect, you know, <laughs> nice silky smooth hair. Well, that's going to work best because the hair is just going to fall right into place. Uh, and here's another example you can see. If you were to pull that hair straight down, it's going to go to his chin. So if you want to have this type of hairstyle, you have to literally let your hair grow really, really long. It could take a year for your hair to get to this length. Just whatever you do, don't go into a barber shop and have someone give you a lineup in the front or screw up your hairline. Just literally let it grow. Find somebody who understands, you know, how to create really good shapes. Um, this is a bit of a disconnected shape. Again, the top is a lot longer, so it's going to hang over the sides. But if you notice, it all is still balanced. It's just because of the way it's cut. So this is really a work of art, a classic haircut, something that I think he was, you know, aside from him being in such great movies and such a great actor, I mean, this was really, really something that made his hair stand out. Uh, and you could just, and I actually have done a few River Phoenix haircut tutorials on my channel. You can just type his name and then put the salon guy and you can see some in-depth tutorials of what I've done. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget, use code YouTube20 if you want to purchase any products. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.